Okay, we have our 10 interesting problem from the MIT integration be quarterfinals, round three, problem two. We have the integral from zero to infinity, one over x plus one times natural log x squared plus pi squared dx. Okay, to get started with this, I don't really know how to deal with all this the way we have it right here, but maybe what I can use is the bounds. When we have the bounds going from zero to infinity like this, sometimes what we can do here is a u substitution. So what I wanna do is for my u substitution, Let's just set u equal to one over x. Solving for x, we have x equal one over u. I'll take a derivative in order to get the dx value. So dx is gonna just become a minus one over u squared du. So then let's go ahead with this substitution. First, plugging infinity in. When you plug infinity in for x, this thing's going to zero. And then when you plug zero in, it's going to infinity. So we just flipped our bounds around. Then for the dx, I'm gonna write this as minus du here. And then for the u squared, I'm just going to bring it all the way over here because I know I'm going to want to multiply this back in. Now for x, that's going to be 1 over u, well, of our plus 1. Then this thing is all going to become, let's see, this is going to become natural log 1 over u, all squared plus pi squared. But then I can take this minus sign here, we can just use this to flip our bounds over here. And then for this 1 u squared, 1 over u squared, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually break it up. I'm going to write it as 1 over u times 1 over u. So that way what I'll do is I'll take one copy and bring it into the numerator. And I'll take this copy and multiply it in right here. So when I do that, let's just rewrite. We're just going to have, we'll have our 1 over u in the denominator. Actually, we'll have 1 over u in the numerator here. Multiplying this here, this is just going to become u plus 1. And then actually, before I rewrite all this, let's just focus on this natural log one over u. For natural log one over u, I can write this as, I can write this as natural log of u to the minus one, and then by exponent properties, bring the minus one up front. So now we have just minus ln u. But then this thing is squared, so let's just have everything squared, everything squared, and then here, when we have this squared, What's going to happen when this is squared? Well, the minus sign just goes away as we have minus 1 times minus 1. This will become a plus. So now I'll use this value when we rewrite over here. This is just going to become natural log of u all squared. And then we'll still have our pi squared over here. But then just notice now we have the same denominator here that we have in our original problem, just a different variable. But I can fix the variable and just do a variable change because we're within a definite integral. So let's just change everything back to x. And now that we have the same variable name and the exact same denominator, we're in good shape to actually add these two integrals together. We'll just label, let's label the first one i. We can label this integral i. And of course, in the numerator over here, we just have a one. So when we're adding these two together with the same denominator, we're just gonna add the numerator. So we just need to add this one to one over x here. But then doing this, this is actually now two copies of this integral, right? So now I've expressed this as two i over here. And then I kind of just want to fix this 1 over x here. I don't really want that there. So what I'm going to do is we'll just multiply in. I can multiply by 1, multiplying by x over x here. When we do that and we rewrite, this is going to transform in the, in the numerator to just x plus 1 dx. And then we'll have this exact same denominator. And from here, we can just cancel out the x plus 1. So that's some good simplification right there. Now let's just isolate our i. So I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides, multiplying by 1 half on this side. This here will cancel out. And now we're definitely making some progress. One more thing I want to do just to make this clear. Let's actually move the dx. Let's get that out of the way. I'm just gonna, let's rewrite the, let's write the numerator as one. We'll bring the dx over here. And I'm just doing that so we can see clearly that we can make another substitution. I can make a u substitution here on ln x because then the derivative of that one over x dx is sitting right here. So we'll do the substitution. I'll just use a different variable. Let's call it t. So I'll say t equal to ln x, then dt is just gonna be this stuff, one over x dx, and so we'll just go ahead with this. We'll have our one half in front. First, when we plug infinity in there, t is still gonna be going to infinity. And then when we look at zero here, natural log of zero, that's gonna happen when we're going to minus infinity. Then we bring all this, this over here is our dt. So we're gonna have, I can write this as dt over t squared plus pi squared. But now this is perfectly set up. This is actually in the form for arctan. So using the arctan formula, we'll go ahead and integrate. This is gonna become, we'll have our one over two in front, and then for our formula, we're gonna have this value in the denominator, so it's gonna become one over pi here, arctan of just t over pi. And we just need to evaluate from minus infinity to infinity. So what I'll do is let's come over here. I'll bring, let's factor this up front. We'll have this one over two pi here. Then first, 
when we plug infinity in here, arctan at infinity, that's gonna be pi over two. Then minus, here we're gonna evaluate arctan at minus infinity, that's gonna be minus pi over two. Minus times minus is plus, pi over two plus pi over two, this whole thing is gonna be pi, but then I can just cancel this pi with this pi, and so for my final solution, we just get one over two. Okay, there you have it. Good one from MIT 2024. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.